beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about some of the pieces from the MAC holiday collection. Hopefully the take on this is better late than never because I realized that this stuff has been out for a really long time and I just haven't gotten around to filming it because to be honest with you there was other stuff that I was a lot more interested in talking about but I do feel the need to talk about this stuff especially because I spent so much money I purchased all of these products myself. I got a couple of them from the Ulta Beauty website, a couple of them from the MAC website, but I do feel like I still need to talk about these things. I want to do my best to, as usual, be objective, give you the information first. So I will show you close-ups, swatches, I will show you an application demo, and then I'll wrap up my thoughts sort of along the way, but definitely at the end. We have a lot to talk about, but let me just follow the program and show you the products and give you the info first before we get to my opinions. Let's start here with the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is the highlighter and the shade is called Gleamscape. This is priced at 42 US dollars. I think they were going in the right direction with the packaging. I aesthetically like it and I like the idea of this snowy, festive, sparkly kind of theming, but it does feel a little bit more cheapy, lightweight than their collections used to feel, particularly these special collections. This is also the exact same imprint as the Snowball collection stuff had. I'm going to show you side by side with one of those a little bit later on so you can see what I mean. The mold or the press or whatever they use to make this. It's the exact same snowflake from the Snowball collection. That was from holiday 2017. What a wild amount of time has passed. I can't believe that. I wanted to show you a live swatch of this product. As you can see, it's quite sparkly. It definitely has that peachy gold pink type of shift, but this is very heavy on the sparkles. My guess is that a lot of people looked at this and thought it was the exact same highlighter as the Snowball collection had. That one is show gold. And you can tell just by looking at them here in the pan, they are definitely extremely similar, but they are absolutely not the exact same thing. The color is a little bit off. Show Gold is a lot more pink heavy, but for me, the biggest difference is the texture. Gleamscape is just a lot more shimmery. It gives me the feeling of a glittery topper type of eyeshadow, whereas Show Gold has a lot more of that meaty metallic feel to it. I don't know if that's a great descriptor, but hopefully it makes sense when you see that paired here with the swatches. They just, they're not terribly different, but they're also definitely not the exact same thing. I would say sisters and not twins, but they for sure have the same mom and the same dad. <laughs> Let's move on to the sparkler eyeshadows. These are priced at 25 US dollars a piece. I picked up two shades and I will just go ahead and spoil it here and say this is my least favorite item from everything that I picked up from this holiday release. The packaging is cool. I like this I see shards of glass kind of look on the actual powders. I think that's cool, but the performance is just so severely lacking. I wanted to love these. These are just the type of colors that I should be vibing with, and I have loved past release single shadows from MAC, but these just really did nothing for me. Maybe I am setting unrealistic expectations because this is a sparkler eyeshadow, but I just don't know why something like this would ever be $25. I'm sure that people think that about indie multi-chromes, and I do get that, but 
I think that there's a much better case to be made for a $15 Cleona multi-chrome single than there is for whatever this sad satin wash of color <laughs> that I paid 25 bucks from MAC is doing. I don't know. I'm just really not pleased with these. I purchased these so long ago when they first came out that certainly I couldn't even return them at this point. I'm not really one to return makeup. I would much rather try to find a home for it because I know if I return it, it's just going to get thrown in the trash. So maybe there are a lot of people out there that want this little soft sheeny satiny. It's not like it's ugly. It's just not doing $25 worth of work for me in my personal style in my life. I know there are probably so many people out here rocking these shadows, looking great, killing it, feeling their best. And to them, if that's the joy they're getting out of it, then it'll be worth it to them. But for me, this just is not it. This is so sad. I would like to move on now. Let's go to the Fizzy Feels Lip Balm. This is also $25. There are two different shades of this available, but I only picked up one. There is a golden peachy champagne color that is sold out everywhere. I don't have that one, but I do have this shade called Shiver Shimmy. This is the dark blue purpley shimmery lip balm. Look at how stunning this is. I think this is so, so pretty. And it does remain sparkly. It's not just this outer glitter overspray, but the actual lip balm does have shimmer in it as well because I've swatched this several times and you're also going to see me apply it to my lips later. So you really do get the full effect. It's not just a showpiece. It's, it's shimmery and glittery and shiny and shifty all the way through. I would much rather put this on my eyes than whatever those single eyeshadows were doing. This isn't my personal go-to lip look aesthetic, but at least it feels good. At least it's doing something. It's showing up and it's comfortable. It's not gritty and glittery feeling on the lips. So I'm not mad at this one. The last couple of products I have to show you are lipstick sets. First up is this Frostbitten Kiss lip set. It's retail priced at $64 US dollars. This one contains five full size luster glass lipsticks. They have this cool outer packaging. This is a beautiful gift. It would be easy to wrap. I love that. I love that it is holiday seasonal and not decidedly Christmassy because I think that makes it giftable for a lot of different folks even those who are not celebrating Christmas so I like that I love the ombre style packaging on these lipsticks that white to the color of the actual lipstick is really striking it's simple and memorable but it's also special I really like this I think this is for me the best piece from the entire holiday collection. I can see myself regularly reaching for four out of these five shades. Just that first one, Stir Crazy, is not really my personal style that I'm gravitating towards. I could still, you know, if I was going for a little peachy pink cute look, maybe especially once it gets a little bit warmer and I'm reaching for colors like that more, I could see myself using it every once in a while. But the other four I can see being my go-to lip color for the day anytime around the clock around the calendar so I think that they made good choices I like that it's not just a couple of the same regurgitated nudes a couple of the same regurgitated reds like we usually get from holiday lip sets I also like that the colors they chose are going to be comfy and easy and look great on a lot of different people, a lot of different skin tones, a lot of different styles. 
So I think that they did a really good job curating this set. The Luster Glass formula is incredibly comfortable. It has a nice opacity, as you can see here. It's nice and even on my lips, no matter which shade I'm wearing. It glides on very comfortably. It wears decently well. I mean, this is not a transfer resistant formula by any means. This is a very soft and creamy formula but it's so comfy, it's easy to touch up, so I don't mind that. I would much rather have a comfy lip formula that I need to touch up more often than something that is feeling a little bit dry or tight on the lips, but doesn't need as many touch-ups. Again, that's just a personal choice, but I really, really like these last three shades in particular. Hug Me, PDA, and Business Casual are the types of shades I like, these toasty, warm rusty and terracotta type of colors so i love these spoiler alert this is my favorite thing in the collection <laughs> i do have one more lip set i did not do lip swatches for these sorry but there's so many of them <laughs> this is the lips by the dozen lip set it is priced at 89 us dollars and this comes in a little zipper pouch this is another one that I think would make a really nice gift. Or like I always say with these larger sets, you can chip in with a couple of friends and split up the lipsticks accordingly. I think that's fun. I think that would be a great holiday party activity. Makeup party, anyone? I know I keep throwing it out there, but someday it's going to happen. And these are a mini size. I'll show you a comparison between one of these lipsticks and one of the full size ones from the last set that we looked at. These have a similar style, that white to colorful ombre with a shade that matches the lipstick inside. But instead of being super shiny like the Luster Glass lipsticks were, these have a more matte finish on the outside, which is according to the finish, very appropriate because these are the powder kiss, so they are very, very matte. Now, have a look at one of the powder kiss minis versus a full-size luster glass. You can see similar styling, but definitely very different, not only size-wise, but in the finish, the amount of shine that's on that outer packaging. I'm just going to show you a quick arm swatch with all 12 of these lipsticks and then I'll list the shade names from left to right down in the description box for you. If you want to see more about this particular set, if you want an in-depth review of this, if you want lip swatches and all that good stuff, just let me know. I can always make that happen after the holidays are over. But I really wanted to make sure that I got this review video out for you now because I know a lot of these pieces are gonna start going on sale soon or by the time this is posted, they may very well already be on sale. So I really wanted to make sure that I talked about these things here on my channel, especially because, you know, I purchased them, I tested them out. So I really wanted to share my thoughts with you. Here is the Shiver Shimmy Lip Balm. It looks pretty cute, you know, it's a little bit giving hypothermia, but I think it looks pretty cute, especially with the right makeup. I can see this working for me. When it comes to the highlighter, I don't hate it. I think it actually applies pretty nicely. I'm not a big glitter highlighter girl. I do have some fine lines and texture and stuff coming into that area now that I am approaching the big four zero years in age so I do tend to avoid more glittery highlighters just because I think it can not look as flattering on me but you know what this doesn't look too bad I don't think that it's terribly emphasizing my texture plus the texture's there so I mean I'm not gonna pretend like it's not but I do tend to not love a very glittery highlighter so it's just okay for me Last and definitely least, <laughs> we're going to try on some of these eyeshadows. When I tell you how sad and pathetic these really looked, I think they may even look better on camera than they did in person. You have to be zoomed in to really even appreciate the fact that there is color on my lids at this point. And I was piling this onto my lids. I was really doing the most trying to make it work 
And these just, at the end of the day, are not the right fit for me. They could be for somebody. Maybe there's somebody out there that's the right audience. And it's not me. I basically immediately took this off after filming. It's not like it's the worst eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life, but it's definitely the worst $25 eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. I just don't understand. Why? Who approved this? It's just so sad. The eyeshadow is by far the worst. I think if you like glittery highlighter, then the highlighter's fine. It's just not my personal taste. The lip balm's pretty cool. Again, it's not my like go-to style to have dark blue glittery metallic lips, but at least it feels good and you can see it. <laughs> sad. Very sad. Sad. The overall experience I've had with these products is generally not great. By far the worst thing for me are these single shadows. They were just lackluster, sad. They're called sparklers, but they're not even that sparkly. They're more like dusters. They just didn't do that much for me. They're so expensive. I'm sad that I even bought two. I'm glad I didn't buy more than that. The single shadows from past holiday collections were so pretty. The ones from the Snowball collection were so good. I loved them. I bought extras so that I could use them and have pretty ones for my Instagram pictures. These are just such a fall from grace compared to those. I am actively mad at these eyeshadows. Like there's nothing, there's no redeeming quality. These are just so terrible. You know, I don't usually say that. I can usually find pros and cons for a lot of products. And I think in general, most of the things I try are decent, good, or excellent. And these aren't even decent. They suck. The lip balm is very cool. It's very pretty as a product. Performance-wise, it's fine. It's just not my style. I feel the exact same way about this highlighter. This is the Fuzzy Feels Lip Balm in Shiver Shimmy. Super gorgeous. Same with this. This is the highlighter in Gleamscape. These are both very beautiful products. Would photograph again. And I didn't hate their performance. They were just sort of okay for me. And that's mostly because these just don't fit into my own personal style aesthetic. So at least the performance was fine. They're just not the right fit for me to wear necessarily. But I'm not actively mad at these. They at least did something, something for me. The only thing I can say, this was worth it. I recommend this. This performed up to the standard that I expected and I don't feel like I wasted my money is the Frostbitten Kiss lipstick set. These lipsticks are by far the best purchase performance wise for me. Definitely the thing that I see myself going back to wearing, using, getting my money's worth out of. So when all of this stuff inevitably goes on sale, this is the one piece that I recommend. This mini powder kiss lip set is also okay for me. I think this is a really nice gift. I don't see this as much of a win for me as the luster glass set was. These could also be cute as little stocking stuffer type things. Or if you wanted to invest in this set and then split up some of the shades with a couple of your friends who are also makeup lovers, then I feel like you'd really get your money's worth because you wouldn't be stuck with a bunch of shades that you don't love and you wouldn't be 89 US dollars in the hole. So this is also just sort of okay for me. I don't love the powder kiss lipstick formula as much as I like the luster glass formula. So again, that's more of a personal preference, style aesthetic type of thing. This one's okay. It's fine. But I think the real winner of the pieces that I picked up anyway, I didn't get everything from the collection. That would have been just a video of me crying. I just picked up the things I thought were most likely to work for me. So of the things I picked up, which I think is a pretty decent sampling, this 
this is the one I recommend. This is the one thing that I like and feel good about purchasing. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these pieces. Did you pick anything up from the Mac Holiday Collection? Have you had a completely different experience and you really loved the things that didn't work for me? That happens. We all have different preferences. We all have different styles. 100% to be expected. So I always love to hear what you think about things too. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in myself for falling for this again. Ugh. Guaranteed to have a weird time with me. I'm just saying. Why am I talking about this? That's not what this video is about. What are you doing? How have I managed to make like 1200 videos at this rate? Okay. As difficult as that may be, I am in fact not wearing this eyeshadow. And you can tell because the eyeshadow that I'm wearing looks good. <laughs> I'm wearing the Flora Story palette, which is shockingly close in price to this one single eyeshadow and also infinitely better quality. I realize I'm 100% biased, but it looks like the color could be the same, except this shadow is not good. And this one is. None of this stuff was sent to me. I spent my own hard-earned dollars on all of these products, and that was a mistake for the most part. I just finished two really good books in a row. One of them was really dark though, so I'm not exaggerating when I say every single trigger warning that you can think of you need for this book. Never Whistle at Night, an indigenous dark fiction anthology. It's edited by Shane Hawk. It's, it was really good. It's, there's some really horrifying stuff in it though, so just be warned. Trigger warning for everything that you can imagine. Then the other one is a lot more lighthearted. <laughs> I have a very eclectic reading list and it's called Hello Stranger. It's about a girl who's a portrait artist, but she has to get brain surgery and she loses the ability to recognize faces and also falls in love. It's really, I thought it was cute. It's a very unique premise. And that one is called Hello Stranger and it's by Catherine Center. It's a flattering color, isn't it? I bet that looked good on a lot of people. Great. Automatically love it. Do you have any good book recommendations for me? <laughs> I did it. Amy. My battery is about to die, so not going to be lip swatching 12 more lip colors. Plus, I don't actually really want to anyway. My skin and my lips are so dry, so I'm going to have to do that on another day if you want, or I can just skip it if you don't care. That's fine, too. Sometimes you just got to admit defeat. But that's okay, too. I don't know if I'm trying to convince you or myself. Maybe a little bit of both. Does anybody care anymore? Are we so far past it? That is not today Amanda's agenda. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Did I just say alrighty? Okay, Jim Carrey, calm down. That is a wrap on that. I hope that you made better holiday makeup purchase investments than I did because I clearly am on that clown shit once again, just like last year. Great. I love that for me. Okay, that's it. Hope you have a fantastic holly jolly holiday or just a regular day if you're not celebrating any holidays right now. Um, or if you're watching this at some other time of year, then I hope you have a nice day, whatever day it is. Okay, this has gotten out of hand. I love your face. I will see you soon. Bye!